It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Thursday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Friday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the New Orleans Pelicans and the Clippers starting five. Paul George is out there with Patrick Beverly. Then it's Marcus Morris, and it's Ibaka, and it's Leonard in at the three spots. And for Golden State, in at forward, it's Thompson and Green. Bradley Beal is out there with Steph Curry, and it's Turner in at the center position. And Doris, tonight, two experienced teams will be battling. Well, what you come to expect with experienced rosters are excellent defensive rotations, game plan discipline. These guys know how to play the game. So let's see how this plays out. Now, here's Green. Right side Curry, six to shoot. Turner against Tabaka. The epic counts. Turner's got the opening basket of the game for the Warriors. Well, this is the versatility that Miles Turner brings to the table. A big man who can knock down shots from the mid-range. Nobody near Jordan. No good on the triple. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Warriors. Back to Beal. And it's plucked by Ibaka. Boy, great extension from Ibaka. His length always a factor. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. We're about one minute into the first. George against Beal. And that one's good, George. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. And one thing that's great about Draymond, you can run the offense through him. Last year, he averaged just as many assists as rebounds. Right, Greg. And obviously, he has to be surrounded by great shooters because that vision is there. And he can throw every type of pass. He's extremely unselfish. But guys have to deliver on the catch. And Thompson kicks to Green. Paul George with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Beverly's got it. They get the rebound. Off with the layup. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Ibaka, the pass to George. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Leonard inside. He's covered by Thompson. And it's Leonard missing. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Curry on the wing. Back to Thompson. Passes it to Turner. It's Beal on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Here's Leonard. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Well, efficiency from the mid-range has always been a part of Kawhi Leonard's game. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Beverly, the pass to a buck. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Miles Turner. Well, let's remember, Serge Ibaka is a defensive presence. This guy, an elite shot blocker early in his career, and he is now a capable scorer from just about anywhere. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. It's good. Come on now. This guy is more than just a great shooter. Clay Thompson, really good feel for the offense.
Clippers trail by seven. George looking over the floor. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now, here's Beverly following the miss by Miles Turner. Here's the teardrop, and it's Beverly missing. Warriors leading by five. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Teron Lou and I had a few minutes to share. And he talked to his players about not letting Draymond Green get into their heads. Coach told them, no matter what Draymond pulls, don't fall into his trap. We need to stay mentally strong and focused. That means he wants his players to walk away and not try to match him taunt for taunt. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. Jackson, he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Beal buries it down low. Boy, that is just tremendous concentration from Bradley Beal. Defense all over him, no problem. And the pass to Leonard. Trying to get open is Ibaka. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Jackson. Uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Beal against George. Beal can't get it to go. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Warriors leading by five. Takes a three. Beal with another miss. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Curry kicks to Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Johnson's got six. Well, the three-point shot is one of the most dangerous aspects of Clay Thompson's game. Somebody check that man. Outside, George. No good from outside. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against him. Their defense has been stifling. This guy is a premier performer, and the hardwood is his stage. He always plays well. No doubt. I mean, fans pay to see him as much as anyone. And when you think about the last decade of basketball, he's changed the game as much as anyone with his range. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, you know, how would you grade them? You, you got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Clippers. We've got Luke Kennard, DeMarcus Cousins out there with Ivica Zubas. And there's Jackson, and it's Leonard in at the three spot. Now here's Curry, following the miss by DeMarcus Cousins. Wasted no time on that one. And now an eight-point warrior lead. There's just a nuance and an understanding to what Steph Curry does. How good is this guy at finding the spot he's looking for? Pascal finds Curry. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And the Clippers decide to take their first. They played a terrific all-around game. The effort level was there as well as the production. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was hard to imagine them being much better at the offensive end. They were so efficient in almost every aspect. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes can find the creases with that handle. Now here's Curry. 12 points for him. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Curry's got 15 points. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. 
You know, oftentimes we talk so much in terms of Steph's scoring ability, but I tell you what, he's one heck of a floor general as well. Greg, he probably doesn't get enough credit for how he controls the pace, his ability to orchestrate the offense. He can create for himself, certainly, but don't sleep on his ability to create for his teammates. And it's the Clippers with the ball. Down by 15. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Let's it go from 14. They get it back and out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Rondo's checked in. Clippers trail by 15. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. There's just so much force that Kawhi plays with. It is what allows him to rise up and put it down with authority. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And he shot foul shots at about a 75% clip a season ago. And Leonard gets it to go. I'll tell you, what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Rondo against Curry. Pass to Basket. Oubre, no one around him. And another three for Golden State. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Leonard. He's coming off a 31-point game against Utah. Boy, and defensively, he had them off balance. He was able to come away with four steals. It's stolen by Curry. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Thompson finds Curry. They double-team Curry to the left side wing. Pascal, that ball. Nice feed that time from Turner. And the Warriors lead by 19. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Rondo passes to Zubats. Here's Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now here's Curry. He's got 15. Pass to Oubre. Four on the shot clock. And it's off from three-point range. Clippers trail by 17. And the new season, Doris, always a time for optimism. You know, the world could use some of that right about now. No, there's no question, Kevin. And we always consider sports to be a microcosm of society. And so are we all on a quest to get better? Are we all on a quest to do more individually? And to me, that's a sentiment that goes well beyond the world of sports. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. Kevin, good evening. The Clippers were picked by many to win the title last year. Now, they didn't get it done, but Kawhi Leonard is not concerned. He said, we've just got to keep getting better, keep fighting. It's about the right team peaking at the right time. Guys are hoping this season, their talent and their fight will win out. Back to you. We will see. Good stuff, D.A., thanks. Rondo against Curry. 50 seconds left in the first half. Traps in the tray. Thompson's got 12 points in the game. And this really is the story of the game. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc, especially in the second quarter. Here's Zubats, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a swivel. 30 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Outside Curry. Down low. Out to Turner. For three. Oubre. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got four assists in the game. Rondo against Turner. Outside Leonard. But they get it back. 
Got it up. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. It's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. In it forward, it's Thompson and Green. Steph Curry is out there with Bradley Beal. And it's Turner in at the five. That's the Warriors five. And Paul George Doris, kind of a late bloomer coming up in high school. His older sister used to give him the business on the blacktop. Uh, of course, eventually, he found his stride, and the rest is history. It took some encouraging from older sis and his high school coach, who actually had to threaten him with running suicides to get the guy to shoot more. And think about it. This guy plays his college basketball at mid-major Fresno State. That's really where he got onto the NBA radar. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. This guy is such an intelligent guard. Patrick Beverly finding a driving lane and finishing. Passes it to Beal. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Clippers trail by 16, and now the Clippers on the break. Count that one. Eight points for George. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. Thompson dishes to Turner. And Thompson kicks to Green. Golden State moving it around. That one goes in. Oh, off the bounce. Beal breaks down the defense. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Takes a shot at the elbow. Misses off the left iron. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Here's Curry with the three. Serge Ibaka with the rebound. And here again, Los Angeles in transition. Up the court they go. Thompson against Leonard. Shoots from the elbow. Basket counts. Leonard's got four this quarter. Well, Kawhi Leonard's starting to percolate, guys. You may want to start checking this guy. It's Beal on the wing. From 18 feet away, and it's good off the back rim and in. Beal's got nine points. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Big time tough play by Beal right there, unfazed by the foul. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for the Clippers. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots, so he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. Count it. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. George against Beal. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Morris. George up top. Finished off the break. 12 points for him. Hey, you're asking for trouble now if you let Paul George get room to run. Excellent transition and superb at getting himself in the right position. Deal with it. It's Ibaka picking him up. And it goes down two points. Good possession there. Exactly the way they drew it up. Clippers trail by 16. Now Beverly. The pass to Ibaka. To the paint. Here's Cousins. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Pass to baseball. No good. Shot missing. The Clippers go the other way with it. Here's Beverly. That one goes. Count it. Beverly's got six points in the quarter. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Outside Turner. 
heel against George. Now here's Beal. He's guarded closely. Just five to shoot over Beverly. Beal can't get it to go. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Goes back up, and it's sent back by Turner. Miles Turner with that length sends it back twice on the pipes. Miles. A drive by Beal. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And now here's George, the fast break opportunity. And he trims the lead to single digits. George has got 14. And that field goal percentage climbing now above 50%. They look like a different team here in the second half. No one covered. And the Warriors lead by 10. And you can sense them just starting to squeeze and shrink this lead a little bit. There's 39 seconds left to play here in the third. Pass to Beverly. Kicks it to Cousins. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And the offense starting to click for them this half. They've raised that field goal percentage quite a bit since the break. Eric Pasco, he's checked in for the Warriors. Oubre comes in for Kent Bazemore. And then for the Clippers, Ivica Zubats has checked in for Serge Ibaka. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Morris. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Beal from deep three-point land. The long-distance three is buried. Beal's got 12 points now in the quarter. That's his second make from distance this half after hitting none before that. Well, they get it to the high-percentage area, and then it all goes wrong from there. The shot's good. And yeah, matters not half court or in transition. Bradley Beal always a threat. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth, they've got Paul George. Ivica Zubas is out there with DeMarcus Cousins. And there's Jackson, and it's Beverly in at the point guard position. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. It's a 14-point game, and that one drops. Frankie, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more, uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And if you still look at the the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach and the Warriors making a change here Curry's checked in uh, you can't look at the result of that shot they'll take that whenever they get it and they should because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit Jackson against Curry Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. And Green gets it to go. Well, you have to respect how aggressive Draymond Green is. If he's got the ball in his hands, he's ready to fire. Here's George. Steps back and fires. Draymond Green with the rebound. Warriors leading by 15. Beal taking his time here. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Free throw good. Beal. We are talking about an elite two-guard. Bradley Beal can shoot it. He can guard virtually any position on the floor. And his ability to elevate his playmaking skills has changed the equation. Not loose. It's stolen by Green. 
Gaspel with the ball. Guarded now by DeMarcus Cousins. Oubre kicks to Beal. And the layup is good. Beal's got 26 points. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. And the Clippers call time here. The lead, we think, looking at ways to reduce travel moving forward. Exactly, Kevin. And one option on the table is the, quote, series model. You see it in baseball, where you play consecutive games against a single opponent. So what about the states with multiple teams, New York or California? Can you play all of those teams in one trip? This not only preserves players, but it also cuts travel expenses, something the league is looking hard at. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Marcus Morris has checked in for Zubas. George against Beal. Here's Leonard Green with the block. A valuable, dogged defender, Draymond Green, doing his thing. Step back and squared up. He has 29. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Jackson against Curry. Green with the block. They retain possession. Morris passes to George. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. Now you have to respect the focus of Paul George, not letting the defense alter his shot. They double-team Curry. To the middle. It's tipped. It's stolen by Morris. And oh, here we go with George. Nobody back. And that one drops for him. What easy looks. Don't allow the defense to one. set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. And the Clippers making a change here. Beverly's checked in. To think that at one point after that horrific leg injury, Paul George, there was some doubt whether he could regain the level of play we're accustomed to. But this guy gets better and better. And what started it all, terrific anticipation on the defensive end. And that's exactly how you get yourself into transition. The gamble pays off. George against Beal. Shot clock at six. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. Cloak loose, passes it to Leonard. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Beverly, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, you look at the 2020 class for the Basketball Hall of Fame, Greg, some great names. Headlined by Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant. I mean, historic players. And all the more emotional, Kevin, having Kobe enshrined after his tragic passing. But yes. when you look at the accomplishments of this class, arguably the most decorated that the Hall of Fame has ever seen. And, Greg, you've gotten a bird's eye view. You've gotten a front court view. You've had a, a chance to, to be alongside these Hall of Fame players. Uh, incredible talents, great people, and, and truly they've been terrific ambassadors for our game. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Warriors. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Beal. They simply can't stop him right now. This guy playing with passion and focus. Here's Rondo. Patterson. Rebounded by Bell. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Rondo with the ball. 
So we see the Warriors taking the game here. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective.